here's how I use Genial Universal Injectable Composite to restore a class one. I build up cusps on one side of the prep and because of its stackability, I can actually develop cuspal anatomy. Using the syringe tip, I can create a feather edge up the incline of the cusp. And here's the other cusp. You'll see it maintains its shape very nicely thanks to that tremendous stackability. At this point, I'll add a little back here like this. At this point, I would like cure for 20 seconds here, just for a few seconds for demonstration purposes, and restore the other side, building up the cusps in the same fashion. And again, bringing up a feather edge on my bevel. And light curing the complete restoration for 20 seconds. Like so. Another great application for Genial Universal Injectable is on the incisal edge. So these little fractures can be restored after beveling, micro etching, acid etching, applying G Premio Bond, and then loading in the material like so. Again, beyond what you would like to do so you can finish this with a disc. And here too, typically, I will bring this material into position, feather edging it onto the facial surface as well as the lingual before I cure it, like this. And then we cure like so for 20 seconds. And then going through your adjustments in, in sizal guidance, be certain that you have a balanced move and this will hold up quite well. Here's a class five preparation that's been beveled. And after you, in my case, I micro etch, acid etch selectively, uh, also uh, applying your adhesive, G Premio Bond. I will typically use only the syringe tip like so and load in my material like this. I'll do this in two or three increments. So this first increment fills in most of the preparation. This can be cured again for 20 seconds. Here I'll just do it for a few seconds for demonstration purposes and then place my next layer like so. And you can bring the material down using the syringe tip to the facial surface of the tooth to gain more strength on an enamel bond. Or I will use an explorer tip also to bring this material down. Or a perio probe, either way. And then from here, we'll cure this, like so, typically for 20 seconds. And maybe one more increment to get this a little bit beyond the final contour. So, and here too, I will advance this incisally, creating that feather edge as well as gingerly. And then your final cure for 20 seconds. The last thing I'd like to show you is a product that can be used as dentin replacement, core material under large composites, and this is Everex Flow. And it's a glass reinforced composite. And this is tremendously strong. 
This is the Denton shade, and here I'm building up the internal aspect that is replacing the Denton of a tooth that will eventually get a crown or could, could get a large composite. So this would be the Denton only, it would be placed in the inner aspect of the, of the tooth. And you can see here too, the stackability. And I'm just replacing the Denton completely with this, like so. And as we move it around, you can see the glass fibers that are part of the matrix. Incredibly strong. And this too, we cure up like so. And then you can put composite on top of that. And this is extremely fracture resistant. Or this could be your core for a crown after root canal is done. Again, this is called EverX Flow. And this is the Denton shade. Genial Universal Injectable now comes in Unitip application. And here I have a substructure of Denton that I created with EverX Flow, glass reinforced fiber composite, flowable. And that is my Denton replacement. And a great way to manage this in creating a final restoration is then to build up over this with the Genial Universal Injectable dispense like this from the Unitip dispenser. So here we can build up one side. shape this up the cusps. Light cure, just for a few seconds for demonstration purposes only. Typically a 20 second cure is recommended. And then here we can build up the remainder of this tooth. Using the Unitip application system now. We'll cure again. And then even more can be placed to build up this cusp. and then can be cured like this. After the cusp is built up, then contour of the cusp can be established. And any finishing touches can be placed like so. I typically use an Explorer or a Perio probe to shape the material. and then cure. What's unique about a restoration like this is it's supported internally with the Everex Flow, which is a glass reinforced composite, which is extremely tough and resistant to fracture.